Eyewitness News update. Good afternoon, Katrina Lee in the Eyewitness Newsroom. Twelve people are recovering in hospital following a powerful earthquake which jolted a wide area of Northern California and Nevada today. Houses collapsed, skyscrapers swayed and a pavement above a dam was cracked. The quake hit 6.2 on the Richter scale. Spectators and police were flower bombed during the end of the Anzac Day march in Sydney today. About 25,000 servicemen and women, veteran and reservists, took part in the march. Meantime, in Melbourne, 11 women were detained near the Shrine of Remembrance when they attempted to break up the Anzac Day march there. Police have praised the actions of a light aircraft pilot who was forced to land after running short of fuel on the New South Wales-Victorian border. Police this morning picked up the pilot and his three passengers, which included two women from a nearby station. Melbourne's Magistrates Court was told today a house put up as bail for a man suspected of stealing almost half a million dollars has been posted by a woman who's been dead for 13 years. And a former governor of New Gander, Sir Walter Coote, said the Australian government is moving covertly to make the country a republic and it could do it in less than four years. I'll have more eyewitness news updates in half an hour.